Today on Candle Chats, we are reviewing Malin and Getz. Malin and Getz. So it's a duo. Malin it is a and duo. Getz. Are they like the like Abbott and Costello of candles? Or like or like a duo, like a like a dynamic duo type of deal? I don't know how they're related or if they're okay. just friends or lovers. I don't know. I don't lovers. know. Lovers. Are they friends partners? or partners? I don't know. Okay. I don't know their story. Don't I tried story. to Google it and I couldn't figure it out. They just had their own. But they are it's it's stories. it's they are distinct. Two men. Two men. Got it. Got something it. Malin and something Getz. Okay. Not Goetz, Getz. I Goetz. Go. looked up the pronunciation. Um, they use natural ingredients. They started in 2004 as an apothecary shop in Chelsea. Um, Chelsea, New York? Yes. Got it. Is there another Chelsea? Well, I don't know. I was thinking of Chelsea Football Club. I mean, sure, I'm sure there's a Chelsea in like UK or England because it's a football club. Cool. So yeah. no, in New York. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, they make skincare and stuff too. But we are reviewing yeah. the candles, obviously. Obviously, this isn't skincare chat. <laughs> oh boy. Um, and I started with this three pack I got from Nordstrom during like an anniversary sale just to try them out because I had seen them everywhere. They're so good. Now I got the bigger boys. So we're not. That, that's just that's just so good. We're like we're good on that one. It just. So it came with cannabis, leather, and rum. Yeah. And I've lit all three of these together because you know votives don't give off as much throw as like a bigger candle. It smells so good with all of mm. these together. And their candles are meant where you could burn one at a time or you could burn multiple. Um, and I So you lit burned these and then re and then like box them up again? Yeah, to show the boxes. Oh wow. Like that's uh, that's if that does not show like how dedicated you are to the candle game. You burn these and then and then put them back in the box. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm not saying this is a And I've lit saying, these multiple be, times, no. like at least three times, and there's still more in there. More Which wax one is this in there. One? You, it just says New York. It doesn't say like the It says the name on the bottom. That one's oh. leather. Oh. And I think their packaging is super cute. Okay. And I like that it's like it's on here. It's not a sticker. You're not gonna get an air bubble. It's really nice. Right. Smell like leather to you? Sure. All right. And then we have dark rum. Dark rum. So they have like. <laughs> well, can you do that one more time for me? <laughs> okay. Um, they have like Ooh. these moodier scents, and then they have like herbaceous ones. You know, it's got a little bit of like a licorice type of type of a uh, um. You know, thing going on, but like in a good way. Like I usually don't like black licorice type of smell, but this is good. I don't think that has like black licorice. Well, it's, it's, oh, you know what? It tastes like kind of tastes like grape juice. It tastes like grape juice. Or it smells like it smells like grape juice, like a really fancy grape juice. <laughs> like wine. Yes. No, wine is fortified and. And this smells so and, good. It's, you know. it's a little bit sweet, but it's really nice. I like burning all three of these together. Actually, I should leave it open that you can smell them all together. Um, it's like a whole Keep, moody vibe. Let, let them be free. This is cannabis. Oh. This is my favorite one, I think. Which is hilarious because you hate the smell of weed. I hate, I do. I, I hate when our home smells like it. And what would that be? But this... There's not, that's not just cannabis. Mm -hmm. There's lemon, orange, pepper, yeah. sandalwood, amber, patchouli. There's a lot going on in here, it smells so good. Oh, and then here, just, just give a sniff to like these three. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So it's like a trifecta. Mmm, smells so good. Yeah. That's great. That's great. And how much was this set? I don't remember. The big candles are 55, which leads me to believe that the votives would be around maybe like 30? 30 each. Or like 30 for this type of each. situation. Oh, okay, Actually, gotcha. I can like tell you exactly. No, that's what I mean. It's whatever. Well, I mean, you brought it up. Now I'm interested. And the little guys are 20, actually. I was going to say 20. What a good deal. I was going to say 20. Yeah, so I imagine this was around $60 then. What a deal. Um, so I have a big boy cannabis. I can't big wait boy. to light it. Okay, so we, we got that one. I don't need to smell it again. I know, but just look at like the packaging is so cute. And then you can repurpose these as actual glasses to drink from. I do like the minimalist um, Stark design. Um, kind of a 
There's a brand called Off White. I don't I don't wear any, but I just I'm a fan of the, the design aesthetic in general. And then this one is Mojito. I've lit this one a few times. Hmm, this one's pretty subtle. I feel like it doesn't like I thought Mojito would be a little more. Oh, the cold throw, I guess, whatever you call it, is, would be stronger. So this one has, I was looking to see if it says on here, it has mint and it has lemon. Mm -hmm. I thought it was kind of subtle too and I didn't pick up on it too much, but I let this burn while I went out yesterday. Maddie was home. Mm -hmm. well, don't leave candles unattended. Right. But when I got back home, I could really smell it. Okay. And it just smells like very like fresh and it kind of makes your eyes open a little bit. It's mm. really nice. So that's Mojito. Big boys are done. This one, like, get like a real, like, like citrusy, clean laundry type of type of deal going on, or like fabric softener, more more specifically. It does smell like that. This one is Nerali. That's how you say that. Yeah. Top notes of apple and melon. Middle notes of lemon and mandarin orange. Base notes of iris and musk. Okay. So it is it, kind of fresh. Yeah. But the, but the citrus stuff. Oh yeah, sense. and like the little ones don't have all the like coffee on there. And then we have tobacco. Oh, cannabis and tobacco. I wonder if those, wonder if those two will be your favorite scents. Why are you laughing? <laughs> because those would oh, be like, like, like yeah, in like real in real life, that would not be, those would not be your favorite scents. In real life. Yeah, cause this like, this one gets a, a little bit more of a, like a licorice-y, so type of vibe, but I give tobacco for sure from this. Basil, rye, chestnut, honey, ylang ylang, and notes of tobacco leaves and guayac wood. I love guayac wood, bourbon and vanilla. You love guayac wood? <laughs> you love, what is that called again? Guayac wood, I think guayac that's how wood? you say it. It's, um, I think it's part of the tree that is Palo Santo. Got it. Well, and I should look at what else is on the cannabis one. Did we already say it has sandalwood, amber, patchouli, lemon, orange, and pepper? Ooh, what a banger. And then the mojito. You said it was lemon and, and, um, lemon and, um, Why is mint? it like, I imagine not mint, out of a mint me. would be in a mojito. I can't even tell on this one. Okay. Oh, a refreshing minty cocktail of basil, lime, and white mask. That, yeah. Anyway, I really like these. So which one's your favorite? Cannabis. Okay. And then I do really like all of these together. They like they all smell so good together. I imagine tobacco would be moody and nice with these too. And I also really love like the different colored packaging. I love the vessels. Um, so you would, it sounds like you would recommend people to go the similar route that you did, get this first, get the, the, the votive set votive yeah. the votive set i do if you are new to a brand or new to candles and you're not sure what to try try a bunch of votives they're 20 bucks you still get like i think at least five like solid burns out of them and you'll be able to tell which scents you like and today i learned what a votive is so that happened too they also have shops i went to a mm. shop in la um and i imagine they have shops in new york still Right. So if you're in a major city, they might have a shop. They have a shop. Or be at Nordstrom. This girl loves a shop. That's this for sure. Girl, this, this girl, girl over here. A shop. All right, that's it. That's it. Malin and Getz. Malin and Getz. Malin and Getz. Candle Chats.